Shalom family trendsetter. This is another edition of In the Man Cave. Now I want to talk briefly about one of the key witnesses in the Bolton John case that was found murdered on Friday. Now, I'm not going to go much into it because I'm sure many of y'all already um, you know, heard about it and a lot of people have done commentary on it. But I just want to say, family, no matter what they try to do as far as intimidation goes, because they know their kingdom has fallen. And this is why they are literally panicking. So they're going as far as now. I mean, it's so blatant that, you know, the, the law enforcement of Dallas has something to do with it because they I, I personally believe he was threatened before he went on the stand. And another thing I was thinking about, right, why possibly I'm not trying to defend the brother of Bolton Jean, because to me, they're Christian and I could care less about these people because they are to me, they're docile and dumbed down and stupid. But I'm going to go on a limb here for maybe the brother and the judge why they actually did what they did as far as hugging Amber Geiger. See, they know or maybe themselves was actually threatened, you know what I'm saying, by these people, you know, not to go and testify. You know what I mean? But I believe it's it's deeper than what it appears to be. The judge coming off the stand, hugging Amber Geiger, giving her a Bible. That's I think it's all because of they was probably intimidated by these people. They know they fucking with law enforcement. And they know how dirty these devils are. So, I don't know. That's just my take on it. Because, you know, you could tell, like, even with the key witness that they murdered, that the, the law enforcement of Dallas police murdered, you could tell he was intimidated on the stand. He didn't even really want to testify. He broke down more than he actually spoke. But um, I want y'all to know, family, no matter what they do, as long as you follow the most high, the law, statutes, and commandments. And when I say the most high, I'm talking about, the quote-unquote God of all gods, okay? Because, see, y'all worship God, which is Satan, in the churches, in the Christian churches. I'm talking about when you go on your knees and stretch forth your hand. Don't close your hands when you pray. Because when you're receiving something, you're supposed to stretch forth and receive it. You stretch forth your hand, you go on your knees in, 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 in secret, not out in the open like these Christians like to do, and jump around and speak in, in demonic tongues and shit. Don't even know what the fuck they're saying. Just, man, anyway, so... Yeah, go on your knees and you ask, you pray to your creator. You say, my creator, whoever you are, just narrow this shit down. Because there are many guys out there. And you ask them for guidance and protection. And if you believe within your heart, you know what I'm saying? Because that, that energy that you're sending forth to your creator, whoever he or she may be, we don't know. We've never seen God. Okay? And you sincerely pray to him and you follow the law, statutes, and commandments. Because see, when you listen, when you listen to the law, statutes, and commandments, when you really and truly read the law, statutes, and commandments, it, it makes sense. There's nothing for you to even question about it. Because the dietary law makes sense. Because a lot of this food that we're eating is causing us, you know, our, easy, our early demise, I should say. So when you go on your knees and you pray to the most high power and you ask for forgiveness first and foremost because you got to come clean. And then you ask him for protection. There's nothing to fear. Because, see, we fear death because it's the unknown. Me, personally, I don't fear death. Because, for me, living in this motherfucker, this hellhole trapped in this body, this meat suit and shit, this is hell every day. This is like dying every day and shit. You know what I mean? You got to get up and deal with these entities that, that dwells amongst us. So, I know many of y'all fear death because, you know, you know, you know, you know, the uncertainty and then maybe how you might be taken out. It's kind of traumatic and shit. But, listen... Death is nothing to be feared because before your ass was here, you was you was dead. You you was you cease to exist. So that's basically what it's gonna be. You know, maybe your spirit lives on, go somewhere else. You know, what I mean, it depends on how righteous you are. You know, according to how we was taught, because none of us really know what happens after death. No one knows. I don't care how much they come on here talk about. Oh yeah, I experienced life after death. Yeah, you possibly probably did experience life after death, but your ass wasn't dead because if you was dead, you wouldn't have been able to come back. You know what I mean? But family, I just wanted to come on here and share this with y'all. Yeah, they are trying to intimidate us. This was a message that was sent. Because I heard that um he was shot in the mouth and in the chest, same as Bolton Jean. And that's what they do. You know what I mean? Remember when they had to use some lynchers and shit? They used to um, target our private area. Because that's what lynching is. When they hang you, they usually cut off your genitals. Because, see, the genitals represent uh, rebirth. You know what I'm saying? It's like a reproductive system. Organ, I should say. So they are fearful that the black you know, nation of black, um, I would say, population is going to supersede them, which we already have, because they're a dying breed. They're panicking right now. So, you know, just be um, cautious out there, fam. Be aware of your surroundings. You see these devils, 
look suspicious. Always follow your gut instinct. If you if you feel some type of way around these devils, you you know just use some kind of discretion and and, and get out of their way because these are some demonic entities. They they have the law on their side. All right. So I just want to share this with y'all. With that, I say shalom.